and then just the black smoke just started rolling. And tonight, nearly 10 hours after a tanker truck hauling fuel crashed and exploded in Nashville, police still have part of the nation's neighborhood closed off. This one causing a lot of problems today. Well, fire crews put out the flames and heavy smoke hours ago, but the fuel that didn't burn off, well, that's causing other problems tonight. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon has been following this one since it happened. So what's going on there now? Well, Jessica, you can see Metro police still have roads closed off here in the nation's area from Centennial Boulevard down to Morrow Road from 60th Avenue to 63rd Avenue are still off limits all these hours later. That is the traffic situation. The water situation is much better. Metro Water tells us drinking water in this area has not been affected at all. In fact, the fuel never reached Richland Creek. Boom stopped it before it got there. So the creek, the water and the fish there have not been affected. All that good after good news after a very tense afternoon afternoon here. It was just a great big old ball of fire. Thick black smoke billowed into the sky. Explosion after explosion after explosion. After a tanker truck overturned on Centennial Boulevard Wednesday afternoon, igniting 8,500 gallons of gas and diesel. First explosion I can knock me out of the bed. My guys just now got out of there. Tim Gerald saw the TriStar tanker truck crash while taking a curve in the road. It did not explode right away. It just caught on fire. And then there was the first explosion. And then after that, it was just two or three more explosions. It took 60 firefighters, four hazmat teams, and a lot of foam to bring the fire under control, but their job was far from over. The fuel ran into the storm sewer. That's a challenge whenever it gets into the uh, sewer line. We have to run it down and chase it and cut it off. But it was already too late. Look at this video from Sky 5 HD. The sewers in the nation's neighborhood started exploding, setting the surrounding grass on fire. Vapors of uh, any kind of fuel or gasoline will ignite, and that's what caused that to happen. It came up, it went back down, and then all the smoke was coming out of the drains, out of the, uh, the sewer drains off the roads. And it was just black smoke, and every time you You'd sit explode, more smoke would just roll out. A large amount of the fuel from the tanker made it through the storm sewer and to Richland Creek. Late Wednesday afternoon, a hazardous materials cleanup crew was on scene trying to contain the fuel in the area. This is a scene many people won't soon forget, and for Tim Gerald, one thing stands out in his mind. Just that the guy made it out of the truck alive. He made it out of that truck and got away before it actually exploded on him. And the driver of the tanker, 33-year-old Jason Frizzell of Cookville, hurt his shoulder during the crash, but he is expected to be fine. He was driving for TriStars Transport, and they have hired that private company to come out here and contain this fuel spill. There's still no word when Metro will reopen these roads around the nation's neighborhood. We are live in West Nashville. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD. It certainly did cause a lot of commotion out there today. A daycare center at St. Luke's Community House was evacuated. Several schools were placed on lockdown and neighbors were kept away from their homes for a short time, all in the name of safety.